Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the graph for the circular foundation and look at what A on H, H on A is compared to A on H because that's on the same axis. We're going to see what that is in a second. Then we're going to do an example for final and initial settlement of a circular foundation. We do that by finding A on H or H on A. We find, we find V, the Poisson's ratio, that will either be given to us or we're going to have to work it out. We're going to find IP, which is from the graph. We'll then find the pre average pressure and then we can find the final settlement or the initial settlement, depending on what we're looking at. So let's just discuss this A on H, H on A. So that is one of the axes of the graph and it's on the same axis, so it can be a bit confusing. But all it is, is A is equal to the radius of our circle and H is equal to the depth of the layer. So it's the layer depth. So. Say if we had A, a radius of 10 meters, and H, a depth of 4 meters. If we were to work out A on H, so A on H would equal 10 on 4, which would be 2.5, whereas H on A would equal uh, 4 on 10, which is 0 0.4. So if we come across to our graph now, which value would we use? So we have A on H equals 2.5. A on H, so you can see, you can see 2.5 isn't in the range from 0 to 1. That's in the red where one is common between H on A and A on H. Whereas H on A equals 0 0.4, H on A equals 0 0.4. So that is in the range for H on A, which means that we'd have to use H on A as the value. <coughs> this in contrast to say our A equaled 3 meters and our H equaled 6.